So I am a car dealer and I do not want you to buy a car from me right now. I'm a used car dealer and I'm gonna show you how much money I have in this RX 300 that I'm trying to sell for $3,000. So car dealers are getting crushed by their inventory right now. And how do we know this? We were actually seeing this in real time going through these auctions. What we're seeing is we're seeing the no sale rates go up. We're seeing the wholesale prices go down. And what that means is that there's less bidders in the system and the bidders that are in the system, they're less willing to pay the prices for these auction vehicles that they were a month, month and a half ago. And what that tells us is that they're not selling very many vehicles. If they were, then they would be bidding off these vehicles at a very high rate. You would not see the amount of no sales that we're seeing going through these auctions and you would not see whole sale prices go down. This is a 2008 Ford Escape. We have $2,117.36 in it and we're selling it for $3,000. And because we're seeing this right now at auctions, we're also seeing that the amount of inventory at used car dealer lots is starting to go up. We're even seeing it right now at good dealers, even dealers that sell cheap stuff, dealers like me. This is a 2005 Subaru Forester. We have $1,975 in it, and we're trying to sell it for $3,000. My cars are typically $5,000 and under. That's what I like to keep. You can see these cars that are behind me. They're all mine. They're what I'm trying to sell these cars for. A lot of them are $2,500, $3,000, $3,500 and we are slower on sales. And I can tell you right now that our cars are cheaper right now than they were two months ago. This is a 2000 Lexus RX 300. We have $2,220.17 in it, and we're selling it for $3,000. And two months ago, I didn't have any problem selling vehicles. And it seems like every phone call that we're getting to our dealership right now, even on a $2,500 car, even on a $2,000 car, do you finance, do you finance, do you finance? We don't finance at my lot. Everything that we sell, a, a customer has to actually pay the full amount for to be able to purchase the car. But I'm just saying that to say this, that if a customer, and uh, almost all of our customers are calling to ask this, if they need to finance a $2,000 car, the economy is not right right now. People do not have money. People are not able to buy new vehicles for themselves. This is a 2011 Chevy Malibu, paints a little rough on the hood, but we have $2,550 in this one and we're selling it for $3,500. And about a month and a half ago, my dealership had almost no vehicles left for sale. We went through tax time, we sold almost everything we had. And the stuff that we had left over, we cut the prices on it and we got rid of that. It only took us about a month, month and a half to get to a place where we have cars now we have about 70 now on the lot all right this is a 2008 toyota sienna we have two thousand five hundred and fifty dollars in it and we're selling it for thirty five hundred dollars and i'm going through a lot of these cars and giving you prices of what we're actually trying to sell them for and i want you to uh, keep in mind that we also don't have any fees we have zero dock fee we have zero nitrogen fee we don't have anything associated with the car literally on this car right here it says forty two hundred dollars that's what a customer is paying me for this car now you're going to have your taxes through the state on that but on a car like this is going to come up to be like a hundred i don't know the exact number but it's like 150 bucks somewhere around there but that's what you're paying to the state of north carolina which is what i'm a dealer in which is which i am a dealer in which is where I am a dealer, a part of, I'm in North Carolina. So um, in North Carolina, you have your uh, highway use tax, you have a, a registration fee, title fee, stuff like that, all about 150 bucks on that $4,200 car. None of that comes to me, it all goes to the state, but what I'm getting for that car is exactly for $4,200, that's it, no fees. All right, this is a 2010 Chevy Impala. We have $3,194.71 in it, and we are selling it for $4,200. We're having a hard time selling them, and it's not a factor of any uh, different pricing. We're actually cheaper now than we were two months ago, and it's not a factor of quality. I would actually argue that the quality of vehicle that we're getting right now, because the prices at auction are coming down, is actually a little bit better. So what's the difference? It's just that there's no money in the system. Everything costs more money, and we're seeing it across all other dealers right now too. I talk to a lot of dealers week in, week out. I go to a lot of these auctions, I see the same guys every week, and we talk. And what they're saying on all levels, even my tier, the middle tier, and the higher end used car dealers, even the car dealers that are selling stuff for $20,000 and above, we're all saying the same thing. We're dead. 
we're using words like it's slow it's never been this slow and a lot of these dealers they have just been created in the last two three years so they've never seen this so they don't know what to do so a lot of times when you get these dealers that are new that have just come out of a good time they're going to keep their prices stubbornly high and just blame it on you know what people just aren't looking people don't have money or whatever and they're not going to take the actions that they need to do to be able to actually sell vehicles so now because times are slower right now and as these cars sit longer on these dealers lots these dealers are going to start getting hurt and they're going to get hurt by their inventory and they're going to get hurt bad uh, the reason being is because they have all these interest payments stacking up they have this lot rot that's going to stack up on their vehicles and they've just got out of the glory time where we could sell anything for any amount and now you can't do it so they have to change their mindset and you know how hard it is to change your mindset on anything and all of these dealers have to do it and we all have to do it at basically the same time um, because the demand has just dried up the money has just dried up and I think for a lot of these dealers it's really going to be what puts them under because they're over leveraged and they're not going to be willing to change and they're still buying some cars up even though their lots are full so this is actually a good example of one that we're going to lose quite a bit of money on uh, we are trying to sell this thing for 3600 bucks and let's uh let's turn you around so you can actually see my face see the grimace on my face from this i hate losing money on cars but sometimes we have to do that and i know i've already told it to you many times before but i'm gonna tell you again just wait, 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 wait. Cause all these cars that I'm seeing right here, I don't want you to buy them from me right now because I know that in a month, two months, vehicles that are very similar to what I'm selling right now, I'm gonna be able to sell them for even cheaper because we're seeing it right now at auctions that we're able to buy stuff a little bit cheaper than we were a month ago. And next month we should be able to buy it for even a little bit cheaper. And as we're able to buy stuff cheaper, it, uh, allows me to actually sell cars for a cheaper price and it's going to force other car dealers to lower their prices on stuff that they've had for a very long time because once they buy stuff at auction right now if it's a similar vehicle that they bought two months ago they're actually paying a significant amount less right now than they paid a month two months ago so they either have the um, the option to lower the prices of the vehicles that they still have sitting on their lot or they need to run up, mark up the prices of the ones that they're getting right now. And I can tell you that second option is not going to work for them because there's a lot of dealers like me that's going to stay current with the market and they're actually going to lower their prices as the market goes lower. That's going to help us sell more cars and it's going to force the other dealers, the bad dealers that are not wanting to lower their prices, it's going to force them to lower their prices because people shop online and if they see a similar vehicle at another dealership for a significant amount less than what this current dealer at the higher price is selling for, they're not going to that higher price dealer. They're going to go and they're going to shop for the best price. So that's going to force the bad dealers to start moving their prices down. So throughout this video, I've been showing you a few of the vehicles that we've bought and what we have in them and what we're trying to sell them for. So when I give you a number of uh, what we actually have in the car, what that's going to include is going to include what I paid for it at auction, what I or Alex paid for it at auction, um, our auction fee, it's going to include any repairs that we had done to it to get it ready to bring to our lot. And it's also going to um, include an inspections because I'm in North Carolina and every car that we retail to a customer, we actually have to get inspected through the state of North Carolina before we can sell it.